kitted out because I'm in the mosque here so I've got the wear on. Uh, covering of the legs. In the background over here above the trees is the red fort and it, it, and it stretches right around here through those trees. So a bit of a marketplace down here, slum like with the people on the roof through here. But uh, around here this is the Again, uh, triptych entranceway to the fort right here with very similar, very, very similar architecture to what's happening in the red fort. And again, you can see the geometry is coming through in the dome like, etheric dome like configuration portrayed up here. Up the steps with the masonry, you can see where they're patching up masonry with a little block there. You can see the pillars there of Jacques and Boaz with the etheric archway, including the flowers. As you go through this archway, you can see on the doorway again the flowers and foliage on the doorway. Indeed, in Western churches you would see that also. You can see that uh, the detail here, I'll go to this side, with the pillars and the swirling like configuration, in this case rope like configuration of the pillars. <laughs> Again, various configurations. Flower charcoal icon there, uh, the bursting from the pillars. Again, another etheric dome through here. Interesting with the foliage up here, that little ring like configuration with the foliage. It's also a little bit of a reminder of what's happening in Dendera. So, coming through here. This is the larger mosque prayer area in front of the, I had to wait to get in here because of all the prayers that were going on. Uh, over here with the doorways, the triptych configuration again. The triptych configuration is absolutely ubiquitous. So it can be seen up here also. And you can see that, you know, uh, the kind of light configuration up there as well and then over this way we have the right in the centre here of this pool well rather around the sides we have the pedestals with the lighting in the centre now this oh we do have the pillar represented in the centre okay so that's the representation of the etheric pillar in the center with the four pedestals around the outside here. We'll have a closer look at the greater architecture here. You can see the minarets right here, two main ones, Jukun and Boaz like. And in this case, once again, you have the juxtaposition of the domes in this configuration. Of course, they would be hollowed out in the inside, but also you have that dome configuration here, just as you would see at the Vatican also. Uh, the lotus with the etheric region above the lotus pillar right there where the participant can stand in and you see that in uh, for, for example Dendra Egypt also. Once again we have the centerpiece right here with the, uh, the four pillars, the foliage. Uh, we saw it at the Red Fort and you would see it at the Vatican also this configuration. Um, just, I have a bit of a you know, sort of group of people around me all the time, but anyway, so uh, you have, and right in there you can see the like fleur de lis coming out of the top of the edifice uh, within there. So up here you have the cupola with all the uh, emanations going up in this case, uh, as you would see at the Dendra Temple, from those lotuses. Uh, like portal ways going up to the center right here and this of course would carry through 
Just looking at, for a moment though at this, uh, at the book by Furs Morris, and this is the cover of the book and people have seen it many a time, but it's just so fitting to have this basic piece of architecture right here. And S is, is written in here. Uh, the altar is finally about the middle of the edifice with the, the central dome of psychic matter above it. The central dome of psychic matter above it. And then through here it talks about building angels and it talks about the participants in the ritual as, as well. Just people all around. But, um, and yeah, and further through here it talks about the astral matter. Uh, the staging, uh, the stage provides uh, the astral material adding to the edifice and this is what I would suggest is actually being depicted and that's why it's all around the world over and over and over. So again within the mosque here you have the cupola again, that dome and You can see how the emanation goes up through the ceiling and then up through the foliage there through what is the fleur de lis and again depicted above here also. So here is the central dome with the lighting here uh, in a way the central pillar of etheric light uh, where the participant would stand in the center and then just having a look through at the uh, flow through of architecture going through both sides here. So again the red sandstone walls around here and then flowing right through the background here where a lot of people are, rela are relaxing in the shade in the archways you can see right in the background there the red fort the same would apply as we move across here. You can see the red fort with a similar architecture uh, through there. One of the streets in Old Delhi and yeah, just all the power lines and chaos above as well as you know, so the chaos of the street as well. Again, the absolute chaos. Wires and wiring in Delhi, old Delhi.